Small incision cataract surgery is a common cataract surgical technique. It is useful for high volume cataract surgery. Unfortunately, around 2 out of 100 patients had complications, which means they are left blind after the cataract surgery. Improper tunnel construction is often the reason for poor surgical outcome of small incision cataract surgery. In this video we would like to discuss some of the ways to avoid such complications. You can find the links to other videos on similar topics in the description of this video. You can also find the links to the instruments used in these steps in the description of the video. Tunnel construction is a critical surgical step in small incision cataract surgery. First we would discuss the tunnel size. The expected size and density of the nucleus should determine the size of the tunnel. For example, the extraction of immature cataracts in younger patients may only require a small tunnel, just large enough for the intraocular lens IOL optic to pass through. Very big, brown nuclei require a larger tunnel size. These nuclei can sometimes be up to 8 mm in diameter and 4 mm thick. However, a large tunnel need not be a problem, even larger tunnels are self-sealing and don't need suturing if they are prepared correctly. If there is doubt about the self-sealing effect, the surgeon may apply one or two sutures at the end of surgery. McPherson suture tying forceps and varica needle holder are used for suturing using 10 to 0 nylon suture. If correctly tied, these will, at the same time, reduce any induced astigmatism. Constructing the tunnel Try to mark the length of the incision with Castroviejo calipers, before making the incision. Only a correct scleroconial tunnel incision, at least 1 to 2 mm into the clear cornea, leads to a self-sealing wound. Scleral cauterization before tunnel. Construction reduces the risk of pre- and post-operative hyphema. Stabilizing the globe with toothed forceps makes tunnel construction easier. Limbs forceps, Pierce Hoskins forceps and tooth fixation forceps are often used for globe fixation. However, in order to avoid tunnel damage and leakage, the forceps should not be used on the tunnel flap. Sharp crescent knife and keratome should be used to construct the tunnel. A blunt keratome could cause stripping of Desemet's membrane. Crescent blades are available in both bevel facing up and down. Similarly the keratomes are available in different sizes and bevel shapes. The appropriate blades should be used as per need and expertise. With a half thickness scleroconial tunnel incision, the direction of the crescent knife should always be parallel to the scleroconial plane. Judge the depth of half thickness scleroconial tunnel incisions by observing how clearly you can see the crescent knife during the incision. If the crescent knife can be seen very clearly, this indicates that the scleral layer is very thin and that the crescent knife might perforate to the outside, causing what is known as a buttonhole. A buttonhole can be corrected by making a deeper, frown, incision and dissecting the tunnel in a deeper plane, starting at the opposite side of the buttonhole. Crescent with bevel facing up may be useful in this situation. If the crescent knife is not visible during the incision, this indicates that you are working too deeply inside the sclera, you may perforate towards the anterior chamber's angle, a premature entry. A premature entry could lead to surgical complications, such as iris trauma or iridodialysis, iris prolapse, and a tunnel which is not self-sealing. Manage a premature entry by starting a more shallow dissection at the other end of the tunnel. Suturing of the wound is required at the end of surgery. Crescent blades with bevel facing down may be useful in this situation. To sum it up, the complication during the tunnel construction can be avoided by Accurate assessment of tunnel size Scleral cauterization to reduce bleeding Globe fixation using fixation forceps Use of sharp crescent knife and keratome with correct bevel and size Hope you find the video useful. Please let us know in comments the factors you think also affect tunnel construction. Please let us know the other topics on which you would like to see similar videos. Check the description below for link to other useful video and instruments mentioned in the video.